Wakey, wakey, everyone. It's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is only slightly rainy with streaks of lovely sunshine. Hey, everybody, welcome back to We Happy Few. Uh, we're in the old, the, the Ocaron, a place we used to work. We were a reporter here. We're trying to get a press pass so that we can get into uh, uh, Hayworth Labs to get cod liver oil so that we can get a pass from Sally to cross the bridge. S sounds simple. I know, but uh, now I'm thinking that things are going to get kind of nutty. I'm a bit concerned. I'm a bit concerned about what we're wearing, potentially. And if I just go in here, like, is this going to be considered trespassing? Like, is this guy going to let me go? I'm not actually sure. Hello? Hi. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Oh, yeah. can't go without coffee these days. It's Okay, seems like we're okay in here. If someone would just have a bloody wedding, then I could get a cup of coffee. Uh. Okay. I have a sneaking suspicion that they want some coffee. I think they want some coffee as well. What do we got here? Scargirl miners feeling festive. Last week, many citizens in the vicinity of the village's main Modeline facility heard what seemed at first to be a loud explosion. No need to worry. Seems that those jolly miners could not wait for the annual Victory Day celebration to set off fireworks. The company apologized for any alarm the noise may have caused. Okay, I think we need to get these guys some coffee. Hold on, guys. There's coffee here. Let me buy. Uh, make toasted chicory, four coffee beans, and power. If you drink the last of the crab grass tea, kindly make another pot for others. Hmm. I bet if I got the coffee machine working, they'd all head off to the kitchen for a nice cup of joe. Guys. I've got you covered. The coffee machine's up and running. Ooh. Yum. Yum! Oh yeah, you guys, enjoy. Enjoy. I guess that's my way through here. Let's check this first. Oh, it looks like we might have multiple ways. See this? I see this. Metal bits. Now, what is this connected to, I wonder? I don't know if we want to switch anything. I guess it, it wouldn't hurt. We could disarm it. We have a whole bunch of these devices. There we go. There was the side door that we could have used the pass on, but I'm kind of curious to see where this takes us. Let's see if I can get Mrs. Oliphant to give me my old job back and my old press pass. Okay, so we're like cool to walk around in here. I don't know why we need to be so sneaky. Typo of the month. Typo of the month. Learn which words end in ible versus able. If you are not sure, look them up. This is an unacceptable error. <laughs> Okay, good one. Memo to all copy editors from Jane Gardner, copy chief. Restrictive commas. Please note that if a reporter has written Joe's wife, Clara, you must fact check whether Clara is Joe's only wife. If she is, there should not be a comma between the words wife and Clara. If she is his second wife, however, you should use the comma. I find it hard to believe that professionals do not already know this. Jane. Underneath, someone has written bass backwards. Nice. That one's above my pay grade. Everyone, please congratulate John on his promotion from assistant to the deputy copy chief to assistant deputy copy... Oh, he was the assistant to the deputy copy chief. Now, he is just the assistant deputy copy chief. He's moving up in the world. Hmm. They have all these file cabinets, but nobody keeps any goddamn files in them. Ever. 
Editor-in-chief. Okay, so that's where we need to be, but... What else we got going on up here? Uh, duels over the Oxford comma will not be tolerated. Is Oxford comma is the one that's like... Something's... It's like if you're making a list, and you're like, I need peas, carrots, and apples. You go peas, comma, carrots, comma, and apples. And the comma before and would be an Oxford comma, I think? Because a lot of people... There's like... I guess there's right and wrong ways to use it, maybe? Thomas Dilworth, Deputy Copy Chief. I might have that mixed up somehow, but it's, it's, it's the right gist. It's something to do with that. Scotch, nice. One of my biggest worries right now is that we're not going to have enough scotch for distracting all of the bobbies we want to distract forever. John Hart. And Fisher. They're all gonna come back to work and be like... We've been raided. Germany has sweets. Germany... Oh, hello. Haven't seen one of these for a while. Where is it? It's somewhere in Germany. They're rather vague about it. Is it nice there? Oh, yes, I'm sure it's the dance of the sugar plum fairies every day. I can't hear you. Oh, it's probably not a salt mine. I mean, I hope it's not. But... But why children? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they want hostages? Or maybe they need workers their missile factories with very small hands? Or uh, uh, maybe they're selling us all to the Turks? They said it's temporary, but who knows? Why do they want all the children? Oh, I don't know, Percy. I don't know. Oh, Dad says it's a test. If people don't fight for their children, they won't fight for any reason. Did Interesting we pass test. The test. I said, did we pass the test? Oh man, I'm feeling like maybe not so much. Okay, I'm really glad we came up here. It's me. Remember me? Arthur Hastings. The old place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go? When you disappeared for two weeks? <laughs> did you ever remember? I must have had too lovely a time. <laughs> I was hoping you could use a reporter. I'm afraid I've got a half dozen of them. Bloody useless, the lot of them. Exactly. I've got six pieces on my desk, all about the new flavour of joy. Can you imagine? It's coconut. I love coconut. did Dr. Vlock make that announcement some time ago? Gemma wanted to do a piece on him. I mm. hope she hasn't fallen in a hole or somewhere. I haven't seen her in days. It's bloody frustrating, too. There's all sorts of silly rumours about the tunnels under Wellington Wells. Gas leaks, water main breaks, maintenance workers at the pub instead of their posts. If that were all true, Wellington Wells would be about to fall apart. I asked her to do a story about it. Oh, well, um, I'm sure she'll turn up and everything will be peachy. I'm sure it will. Lovely to see you, Arthur. Drop by any time, really. Yeah, that's really helpful, Margaret. Janet was always digging up interesting stuff, from what I remember. Maybe I should poke around her desk. Okay. <laughs> Just in case, I'm gonna pop out back through here. How am I gonna do this? Like, is it gonna be sketch? And it's like, hey, uh, what do you got on your desk there? Uh, can I look at that thing there? And uh, what do you got going on there? Or will she be cool with it?
Oh. We saw the... Oh, he must have just walked over. Maybe I should drop in on Gemma at home. If she's really vanished, then maybe I can get my old job back. September 23rd, Artistic Hobbies. I think it would be fun to have a piece about the artistic hobbies of workers underground. You know, the tunnel rats and such. Oh, and there was some sort of art show? Have a look, would you? On a side note, I overheard a chap in a boiler suit say they've been having modeling leaks down there. I'm sure it's just... Winging? Or whining? Right? Margaret. Okay. So the answers don't seem to be on her desk. Maybe she kept more notes at home. So we're gonna go and find her house. Waiting for your piece. Still waiting for your piece about the tunnel rats. Uh, I know what you're like when you're excited. Did you find something interesting underground? Very naughty to keep secrets from the headmistress. Okay. I'm not going to pick this one. Or this one. Or this one. Ooh, there is a power cell. Miss Ting Mrs. Tingle's Lily Liver Delight. Hmm, sounds lovely. Garden Club President Camilla Tingle is best known for her lovely garden. She was always fond of foxgloves, but stopped growing them years ago after her be after her neighbor, the late Mrs. Boyle of Ludholm, Ludsholm, accidentally used foxglove to season a soup. However, Mrs. Tingle has discovered that many other flowers that maybe s that many other flowers. Ha what the hell? Uh. I think it's the gist as many other flowers may be safely included in recipes. Lily bulbs taste like onions, she said. We fry them up with V meat for our Sunday supper. Delicious. For a floral feast, try her recipe. Three lily bulbs, chopped. One pound of meat, any kind, and butter. Stir in a pan together till brown. Do not drain the fat. Oh yeah, sounds sounds lovely. Uncle Jack's a cold. Eagle-eyed wellies have noticed that some of Uncle Jack's shows have been repeats recently. It's no cause for concern. Uncle Jack merely has a light cold. He assures his viewers that he is taking plenty of joy in hot soup and should be right as rain. You know damn right, Uncle Jack. There's more to Uncle Jack than what meets the eye. Hmm. All right. Well, it's been uh, it's been a lovely one, everyone. Bye for now. So her house is deeper in this area, which is nice because it's an area we haven't been to. What am I holding on to right now? Is there anything? This one's a really nice to have. But maybe like a stagger. More damage hitting people. Make them bleed more often. Like these, they're all good. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. We'll go Iron Fist, and we'll hold the rest. Uh, we got some toxicity. Let's go this way. We have a joy detector on- or a joy booth on the right. Okay, a bunch of stuff is blocked off here. But, we'll just throw this on. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. I love that they're wearing them too. That's cool. They get so cross if you're not on Joy. Oh, look at this big thing here. Grass Market Park. You are not authorized. Please clear the area. What the hell is that? Is this a big ass joy detector? Yeah, it is. Whoa. Okay, that's intense. Let's go down this way. Look at that thing. Fab. What's back here? 
You can tell there's just like little subtleties that things are different, you know? I like this. This isn't the place we want to be at, but... What is this place, exactly? Let's go... We already have the quiet shoes. Oh, it's all, like, super locked up. Mustn't watch it or it won't boil. You know what that means. Watch pot never boils, guys. Basically means have some goddamn patience. So we don't know what's special about this house, do we? Quiet zone is strictly enforced. Huh. Okay. Maybe a- maybe a daytime activity? Oh, what is going on here? Look at this! This isn't even where we need to be. Oh, it's just- Oh, just crossing the street into another back alley. That's kind of cool. I guess if we need to, like, get away or something. Not that we've ever had to run away from these guys in the past. That's coming from Gemma's house. That's a bit awkward. Uh... Why is the alarm sounding? Someone in her house is not supposed to be and it's not me. I better check it out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just there to read the meter. What? What? I'm pretty sure that's the guy. I guess someone noticed she's not been around and decided to rob the place. What the frick? We're gonna get in so much trouble. It's been robbed and we're gonna rob it again. Don't need any more shovels, let me tell you. No blueprints. Kill the alarm. Let's do that first. I swear Ooh. by all that is holy, if I find one toy train in your swag bag, I'm gonna knock your last tooth down your throat! What's he on about? Good -o. Turn that fucking thing off and come back down here <laughs> right now! If the alarm's upstairs, I'm gonna have to get past Mr. Shelter here. Ow! He's Bloody looking right hell. at me. Who the fuck are you? I live here. Love what you've done with the place. Yeah, thanks. You wanna get out of here? Oh! He's. <laughs> Buster Edwards. Idiot. Oh. Okay, this is gonna zap again, isn't it? I saw the- I saw the yellow wire going into the room next to it. Nice, nice, nice. I th is his buddy the one that we ran into on the way out? She recover in a few days. Okay. This girl's having a rough go, it seems. We'll check out her study and everything else in her house possible. No, I will not keep my voice down. What? I am a law-abiding citizen. A note. Gemma's diary was added to the journal. With sunshine, my mind is clearer, but every day is agony remembering. Who would take this willingly? And yet, in a morbid, horrible way, it almost feels good to remember. I know I should pop a joy, but I keep not doing it. Just have to not think about certain things. Discipline the mind. 
How much can I tell Margaret? Obviously, we can publish exactly none of this, but I can't bear not finding it all out. So, she, wait, is she back in the house? Like... Fairmile syringe. Oh. <laughs> the quack. We haven't had to use the quack attack for a while. I am not upset. I'm happy as a clam. You oh, the doctors. No right to touch me. I'm a reporter. You have no right to touch me. You know perfectly well I've taken my joy. You can't take me away. I'm not sick or unhappy. Help, what? Please. Help. Can we help her? Look at this. Why did they take her? Why did they take her? She sounds quite sane. Did she know too much? About what? Look at this. Okay. She's got a whole conspiracy theory string situation going on. Okay, what am I looking at here? Hayworth, undoubtedly having a holiday. Have we seen Harry? Verloc expands the lab. Number four bus to Kite Hill? Kite? Furlock invented sunshine. Why doesn't he need to forget? Huh. Personalized care. Let's read these one at a time. From the desk of Anton Verlock, Hayworth Labs. Dear Mr. Blank, thank you for your recent letter. The symptoms you describe... Descri anxiety, guilt, and hunger are all signs of joy withdrawal. I assure you that your troubles are all in your head. Even though they may feel very real to you, a modest increase in your joy dosage should do the trick, but special cases may receive personalized care at Hayworth Labs. Any doctor can arrange your passage to our facility. Your mo yours most sincerely, Dr. A. Verloc. Scribbled in red pen, but do they ever come back? Great question. So we're seeing people go to this Hayworth Labs because anxiety, guilt, and hunger is setting in for joy withdrawal. So they go there thinking they're going to get help. And maybe they're not coming back. Welly's about town. Bolton is known as the rather serious chap who ran the Cryptology Intelligence Division, CID, during the unpleasantness with the Germans. But even Bolton manages to unwind. He finds advanced mathematics especially relaxing. His hobby is trying to prove Fermat's last theorem. I have always had a knack for seeing patterns others can't see, Bolton says. In his spare time, he also enjoys the cinema and detective stories. Alright. What else am I looking at here? Anything? Guess not. Jeez. Should we just take everything? I don't think Dr. V would like that. The constabulary might notice. I don't see anything talking about Dr. V here. Where's her study? Oh boy. I thought vampires have to be invited. Oh in. no! Downer! Oh yes! Nice! That ought to buy me some time. Open up in there! A note, Hayworth Lab's top secret added to the journal. Repair kit, music box. We'll check the journal in a second. I just don't know how much actual time we have. Electrocutions. Okay, we'll check that too. If I read it top to bottom, then right to left. <laughs> the locks looking for a permanent solution. Oh, well, that's not ominous at all. Solution to what? What the hell? Toxic fog. If I finished Gemma's investigations, Mrs. Oliphant would have to give me back my old job. Oh, we're gonna have to piece box. it all together. That's cool. Is there anything else down here? Come out! We're friends of Gemma! Well, look at that. You've been a busy girl, haven't you, Gemma? She needs our help. Sunshine is no joy. Flag rumors just a silly I think prank. I found everything. 
Doesn't look like she found all the answers yet. Okay, so I guess we're going through here. This looks... Okay, that's not anything cool. Okay, let's, uh, let's go through these because we picked up four different things. Hayworth Labs Top Secret. Memo number one. Darling, you said, I don't suppose you have a better idea. Here's my idea. Let me ask the witches. I know, I know, they're superstitious idiots. But they were always talking about psychoactive herbs, and they were actually rather clever women when my mom had them over. And they know every weed and stingy hallucinogenic frog on the homes. And I've been racking my brain about the inventory problem. I don't think we're going to find any more caches of old German goodies. XOXOXOXO Sally. So again, our Sally? Add in Gemma's handwriting. June-ish... 1961, I think. Sally Boyle's handwriting, presumably to Dr. V. Yeah. I don't suppose you have a better idea. Rack my brain about the inventory problem. Memo 2. Beloved, please don't be cross. So she was with Dr. Verloc? Just because they don't have university degrees in science don't mean they don't know any science. You've got to stop underestimating people who don't think the way you do. Are you sure you're not thinking about this emotionally? And I know how you hate that. St. John's wort does contain a serotonin reuptake inhibitor, and it does make sad people less grumpy, for example. We could advertise the new compound as a different flavor of joy. Strawberry, say? Wouldn't that sound jolly? If some people take to the new flavors, then our supplies could last a few years longer, possibly till 1964. And by then, maybe the monkey will learn to talk. Just give it a ponder, please. Gemma's Hattering, July... July-ish 61 again. So June, July. Trying to get people to take this new compound of joy. No, I don't care that you took credit for strawberry. I don't care who gets credit so long as people are happy. And I certainly was not trying to impress the general. No, I'm worried that you promised a permanent solution. Of course, you know far more about biochemistry than I do. And I've never heard of a drug that permanently alters brain chemistry. Is that even possible? Is there a mechanism? Can you just chemically burn out all the sad receptors in the brain? The only permanent solution I know involves electroshock or surgery, and then we're back to phrenology. I think I read people a little better than you do, darling. Or I read people a little better. The general is all very affable. But we're now, we've now promised him results, and we all know what happened when the last guy who didn't deliver him results, you know? Please tell me what's on your mind, would you? Okay. Scribble note about missing staff. St. Elmo Electro, two employees haven't come topside, behaving erratically. Art project. Someone who has a permanent solution to the joy problem, says Miss Snug, but won't say who. There's a joy problem? Permanent solution doesn't sound ominous at all. Mock control unit three. Gas leaks, parts, no maintenance, human error. Oh. So Sally's like in on this. Beloved? Don't be cross. What the hell? Oh. oh. We could have... I bet you we could have just got in from here. I didn't even see that when we came in. Well, I guess I better go see what's going on on this motilene regulation unit. What is this? I don't know how this guy detected me so quick. Don't come at me, constable. I'm not here to be killing, and you're just throwing down immediately for no reason? I guess we're technically trespassing, but I mean, come on. Okay, so now, hold on a second. So, she said she sent Gemma to ask the workers about their art projects, but I have a sneaking suspicion something's gone wrong here. And I guess maybe that's referenced here? Two employees haven't come topside at this St. Elmo electrical unit? Art project? Permanent solution? And then, I guess these are probably the, in reference to the areas we're going to have to check out. Interesting. What is is Sally's involvement here exactly? It's the real question. That's the real question. Um, hmm. Is there anything else? Colonel Lawrence's house? Like, I don't have any reason to go to that house, but I'm curious about it. Okay, so, um, what I'll do 
is I'll wrap it up here. I'm going to go to the shelter. I'm going to drop off some stuff. And we'll pick up from there. And we'll go and check out this work site. And try to piece this mystery together. Uh, do I want to do any of these upgrades? Yes. Let's grab this one. Okay. Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll try and figure out what's going on. And uh, I'll, I'll start in our hideout after this. So take care. Bye for now.